Hi, welcome to the 8th episode of Let's Play Riverville series. Today we are moving from this part of the town to its center, as we have already played all the families here. Now I have two households to introduce, and in this episode we are going to visit the Maury Clark duo. Stella and Lily have recently moved to Riverville and opened a new clothing store. How will local community perceive their union? And what was their past in the town? Let's find out. Here we are. This is a modern love of the household. And now we are going to learn more about the sims. This is Stella Maori. She is a knowledge sim. The woman is Lily's partner and Melanie's aunt. She is friends with Brooke Stanton couple and has good relationship with her butler Raphael. Vilma and Ariana are her employees. Just in case she doesn't know Alessandra Goldwyn if you launch the hood for the first time. I remember them met in the pet store while I was playing the gardeners, so that's why she's in this relationship panel. And this old lady is probably a random townie. As you see Marvin is not here because the old man considered his daughter as deceased. Stella is an entrepreneur and she owns a clothing store. She has high charisma, logic and creativity skills. She also has a golden talent pages in sales, uh, restocking and sewing. The woman is a cancer and she's fairly neat, active, serious and nice. Her bio is Running away from home after her mother's death Stella got very lucky to meet a kind person who sheltered and helped her to become a successful entrepreneur and a fashion designer. After several years, she made a decision to return to hometown with her partner. Stella wants to help her niece, although she's afraid that Marvin find out that uh, his own daughter has been alive all this time. Stella's previous name was Edia Mason. So yeah, eventually she changed her name, look and identity. Stella is interested in money, environment, entertainment, culture, fashion, paranormal, travel, and work. Her protestant hobby is arts and crafts, and she currently has uh, 4 points. Speaking of her memories, uh, we already learned about her past from her biography and from the 6th episode as well. So I won't put the accent on it. I will just say that she got into private school and entered the university thanks to her foster parent she met after all these events. Stella got on the dean's list and graduated the school with honors. Then she started to run a business and um, earn some money. Reached out to her brother and wanted to help him, but unfortunately he passed away shortly. While she was dealing with her grief, she met Lilia. They developed a trusting and romantic relationship and later on started to live together. Then Stella met and made new friends, Raphael, Grace and Bernard. She mastered her skills in sewing. The woman saved up a lot of money from her business and decided to move to Riverville with Lilia, where she met her niece for the first time. That's her background in nutshell. Her turn-ons are jewelry and brown hair, and turn-off is vampirism. She has first simulation award in her inventory. I think I will hang it in her clothing store.
Since the second respiration is fortune, now I'm going to spend 2 points on both aspirations. Her lifetime want is to own 5 top level businesses. Now here is Lilia Clark. She has fortune aspiration and she is Stella's partner. Lilia is friends with Raphael, Grace and Bernard, acquainted with her employees, uh, Ariana, Vilma, Melanie. And yes, she has a twin sister who is actually a townie. As you see, they're not really close, and these two are definitely random townies. Lily helps Stella with her business as a full-time job. She has quite high charisma and logic skill, and few points in other ones. The woman has golden talent pages in register, sales, and restocking. Lilia is Aries. She is pretty neat, outgoing, active, serious, and a little bit grouchy. Her bias says, Lilia is an elegant and gentle woman, but she can be hot-headed at times. Unlike her twin sister, she is well-mannered and fair-minded. Lilia has high interest power in money, environment, entertainment, culture, fashion, sports, and travel. Lily's hobby is music and dance, and she has 3 points in this. According to her memories, we see that Lily was raised well. She and her sister didn't fight, but they weren't really close either. Lilia met Raphael and became friends with him when she was a teenager. Then she went to college and graduated successfully. Later on, her parents unfortunately died. She met Stella when she had started to work in retail and they got close. After meeting with Grace and Bernard Brooks Denton, they decided to move in Riverville and expand their clothing store business here. So that's the whole story. Lilia's turn-ons are logical and creative sims, her turn-off is brown hair. The woman's secondary aspiration is knowledge, and I will use two points for each aspiration here too. As well as Stella's, Lilia's lifetime want is to own 5 top level businesses. Although I'm not sure if this will count their common business, because the ownership is technically on Stella's name. We'll see. Maybe I will change her want later if it doesn't work out. So yeah, that's the whole household. These sims are basically based on these beautiful ladies from this old foreign series that went on TV when I was very young. I didn't like how they were treated there, so I kind of wanted to make a justice for them here. I know it is quite strange for a guy, but I really like them. Alright, it is time for a house tour. This is how the house looks like outside. It is a low style building since it is placed in the center part of Riverville. This is an entrance and here you see Raphael, who works for Stella and Lilia as a butler. Here is a dining area and here is a kitchen. On the other side of the house you can see a living room. And here is a quite big bathroom. And here you see a garage that attached to the house. 
Now let's go to the second floor. Here we have an open space office area. And here is a bedroom where you see Stella's sewing machine and her clothing racks. And here is a bed. Next to the bedroom here is another bathroom. And this is a balcony which includes hot tub, recliners, grill and a bar. And it does have a nice view. So yeah, that's their loft. Okay, it's time to play. But before that, I would like to show you what I've changed here. First I have added this hydrant which spawns random cars passing by the lot. It helps to create lively atmosphere and urbanish environment, since this household lives in the central area of the neighborhood. Secondly, I replaced the picture in the living room by this one. It's one of the Max's lost and found items and I find this painting more fitting here. And I think uh, that's all for now. Let's press the start button. Alright, I see we are starting the playthrough with a good romantic kiss. It's almost 8 am and they should go to work soon. Okay, Stella is serenading to Lilia. How sweet of them. Wait, I heard something. Okay, never mind, nothing is here. Now the couple is about to head off to the clothing store. Meanwhile, Raphael is taking care of the flowers. Oh look, he's waving to them. Okay, we are here. This is how the store looks like. I see the colors of these windows are fixed now. I remember they were red when Ursula Hargroves was visiting this lot in earlier episode. So I'll show you around and let's have a look inside. So they have iconic uh, Bella's painting, few racks, um, here's a fitting room, and here's office where Stella sews and makes clothes, and they have a private bathroom here. Upstairs we see a bar area and a common restroom. As you see the store is spacious enough. So yeah, I've placed uh, custom clothes on this table, they're going to be quite expensive. And yeah, let's open the store and call our employees. Meanwhile, I want to show you the hydrant mode in action. Let's wait for it. Okay, there is one car here. Here is another one. It looks very nice, isn't it? Stella is using a new costume in her office. Now let's see what's going on in the shopping area. Oh, I see Tom Gardner is visiting us. And it looks like he liked how Melanie is helpful to him. Maybe the man wants to buy something for his wife. Everything is going well by now. Melanie is doing good work here. I feel like it is too quiet though. I bought new music speakers and they are playing New Age Station. Fun fact, it's actually the building by mode soundtrack from the original Sims game. I see things are getting busy here. By the way, Lily is at the cash register. Oh, we've got a new rank. Great. Let's choose a business perk. So there are five options. Motivation, Wholesale, Cash, Perception and Connections. 
I think I'm going to choose the connections, which can be useful for sales interactions and communication as a whole. Lily is ringing up a customer here, and she's doing it fast, thanks to her golden talent page. Oh, Stella has finished doing her first outfit today. That's nice. Oh, wait a second, I actually forgot to hang the simoleon award in the office. Let's do it now. How about... Here. It looks good, I think. I see Lily is thinking of the prophet. And Vilma is having a child bubble thought when she has seen a little Sabrina coming in. How smart! Why is the sound of the cash register oddly satisfying to me? Now we have new customers. Oh, cool. Ariana got a bronze sales talent beach. Now we can see it on employees information panel. Grace Brooks Denton is here to buy a new dress, I see. I hope she won't be disappointed by the customer service. It's going well so far. We've got another rank. I will level up the communications. You know, Open for Business is my first and favorite expansion pack in this game. I used to play it a lot when I was young, and my favorite type of businesses were electronics and toy stores. I remember when somebody tried to criticize the game by saying it's lame or stupid or even making stop playing it, I was just like... Yeah, it was wonderful, carefree days. I hope you can relate to it. What is your favorite expansion pack? Let me know in the comment section down below. Bella is still working on the sewing machine. I should take care of her needs very soon. It's almost 6 p.m. and it's time to close the store. And we need to ring up the customers before they leave. Oh, I just noticed that Marvin is here. Probably to see how his granddaughter is doing. By the end of the day, our cash flow is 388 simoleons. Not bad. Oh wait, let's see the payment situation. It looks fine. Time to go home. I see Raphael is cooking lobster termidor. Oh, careful, sir. He got distracted by the ladies. I know, Stella, you're starving. The dinner will be ready soon. Just have a seat. You too, Lilia. It's a new day.
For some reason, Raphael chose to bake Christmas cookies for breakfast in the middle of summer. It is quite, um, unique. Just have a look at this Santa Clauses. Alright, time to work. Stella is calling her in police while Lily is talking to Grace. Let's open the store. How about to try sewing a custom clothing? Hmm, let's see. How about to choose blue and dark silver patterns? Yeah. And name it, um, blue dress, I guess. <laughs> And of course, I should add designer's name in the description. Okay, now she's sewing it. Oh good, Melanie got a silver talent beige in sales. <laughs> we have reached the third rank and we are getting the network perk. Hold on. What happened to Melanie's face? She got acne all over her face. But how? I didn't see her having low hygiene. I have no idea what little Warren is buying here. But I suppose it's something for his mom. Because there's nothing special to buy for children. Stella has finished the blue dress. She will continue making another one later. Now I want her to ask Vilma to become a manager since she has a golden sales badge and a silver one in her stocking. Great, she accepted the offer. Now her position has been changed. Managers usually restock items and reassign other employees' positions if it's necessary. They can run a business while your sim is taking a day off. Poor Melanie dealing with a rude customer over there. Alright, it's getting late, so Stella is closing the store and sending her employees home. Raining evening, I see. Oh, Lily should stop standing at the register. Go home. So, for today's dinner, they have spaghetti. Looks delicious. The couple is relaxing in the hot tub this evening. Okay, Stella is mixing some drinks. How about to take a glass? Um, Lilia? Let's try again. Here you go. They're going to the bed. How cute. Whoa, I really like this view of the house at the dawn. It's beautiful. Today Stella and Lilia are taking a day off. While they're absent, Wilma will run the business. 
We just need to check how the things are going by a phone call later. Well, let's have a breakfast. Oops, wrong one. On their day off, the couple are heading to the spa center. Okay, someone is calling, but it's too late. They already leaving the house. Oh boy, we are having the pink soup. No. Why are you running? Why are you running? Well, I had to launch the game. Hopefully there won't be any other issues. I want to take a second and show you the community a lot. Here is a hairdresser's room. And here we have um, a pool, hot tub, changing rooms and sauna. On the second floor we have massage tables and a tea room over there. So both women are going to get a massage. Yep, we fulfill the want. Now let's see the process. To be honest, I wouldn't mind to take one since my back can hurt really bad after sitting in front of my laptop too long. Okay, they're finishing up. Now let's have some tea. It looks like Stella is saying, this is chamomile tea. Now she's suddenly mentioning oil. That's interesting turn. By the way, I have noticed that Stella is dressed back her everyday outfit while Lily is still wearing a towel. I think it's because of her high outgoing points in personality tab. What a nice detail. How about to go to sauna? Alright, they're coming. Oh, I see Lily's sister there. I wonder if they... My game is acting up for some reason, so no sauna today. Let's check how our business is going. I'm so glad you called to check in. Everything here is going great. You have nothing to worry about. Enjoy a day off. Sally is having a super late lunch after a long phone call with Vilma. And Lily is playing a nice melody. Yeah, I totally agree with you, Stella. Time for evening TV shows. Ironically, I have completely forgotten about the bills when this household has lots of money. We should pay them before the repayment comes. I see Ariane is underpaid here. 
Stella needs to raise her wage, otherwise the employee will be mad and eventually quit the job. Let's also check other stuff. Oh wow, this is super low for a manager. Ernest's wage is fine, but I will raise it just a bit. Okay, now it's time to open the store. Oh, I know, Stella has other clothing to replace out of stock products. It seems like our sales are going pretty well. Oh, awesome! Melanie has mastered her sales skills and got a gold talent badge. I see Christopher wants to buy jewelry for his girlfriend, I guess. And why do your lips look like that, Lilia? It is 8 p.m. The Sims work a little longer today. And yet again, we have Marvin here. Will he recognize his daughter? And just look at Stella hiding her face from him and looking out of the window. What an interesting coincidence. Oh well, let's go home. Alright, I'm finishing up the episode. We have rediscovered how a business lot works, tried a sewing hobby and faced little pink soup issues, but that's fine. I hope someday the Sims community will solve the texture memory error and we will have any amount of custom content we want in the game. For now, I have just one household for you to introduce, and also I would like to tell you what happened to Simon Hargroves, but I think it will be a separate mini episode. Then I'd be thinking to take a break from Let's Plays and focus more on speed build and house tour videos. Anyhow, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.